Hey guys, I'm Kelly, and here's some nerdy news, so let's get to it. An episode aired in Japan over the weekend that saw Pokemon's Ash Ketchum becoming a Pokemon master after 22 years. After defeating Gladian, Ash won the Alola Region League and earned his first major trophy. Over the years, we've seen Ash go through his fair share of wins and losses, and even won a few competitions in other regions, but nothing as big as this one. His journey started in Pallet Town in 1997 when he attained a rebellious Pikachu that wasn't really socialized with humans. As time went on, they became the best of friends on their journey to become the very best, making new friends along the way, earning badges, and catching interesting Pokemon. Voice actress Veronica Taylor, who voiced Ash for eight seasons, congratulated him on achieving his lifelong dream. Pokemon's Twitter account tweeted, anything's possible when you believe in yourself, trainers. In WWE news, last night was the Clash of Champions pay-per-view where WWE superstars defended their championships or attained them. Most notably, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman have been in this really odd tag team storyline on the men's side of the Raw roster for a little while now. They lost their titles against Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler by pinfall on Rollins. This was a strange storyline because Braun really wanted Seth Rollins' universal title at the same time as being his tag team partner. Honestly, wasn't a bad match, but it still felt like it was a bit of a filler because they were going to be in the main event anyways, so we might as well get that out of the way before we move on. Since SummerSlam last month, WWE has a pretty interesting feud going on with the man Becky Lynch and the boss, Sasha Banks. Banks returned to the WWE after a weird hiatus after losing her tag team match at WrestleMania back in April. Aside from the blue hair and having a weird obsession with attacking Becky with chairs, Banks lost the match. She isn't discouraged though, because she's been teasing fans about winning the Raw Women's Championship on social media. Fans are loving the new side of Sasha, feeling that they are getting a well-deserved heel, and the storyline and the matches are really working, and they're actually quite entertaining. Then things took a bit of a turn with Braun Strowman and Seth Rollins going head to head for the Universal title during the main event, which Seth retained, but things got super creepy when he was attacked by Bray Wyatt, AKA The Fiend, at the end of the night. They'll be wrestling in time for the Halloween season next month in Hell in the Cell on October 6th. So maybe WWE is trying to play that up. In gaming news, lots of Final Fantasy VII Remake goodness at Tokyo Game Show last week in Japan. We got to see a new battle system and it's looking incredible. The changes made in the remake are action-packed and fast-paced and resemble a more realistic approach to gameplay that they've been kind of fleshing out over the last few installments of the franchise. Loyal fans like myself fear not. For those who are looking for an old school system and love ATB turn-based systems, there will be a classic mode so you can essentially wait your turn. Players who favor this kind of combat more than quick thinking and speed will have more time to select commands and strategize, similar to the classic menus in the original game. By repeatedly hitting the square button to unleash special attacks, this will charge up the ATB gauge. When it gets full, commands will unleash special attacks and casting your favorite elemental spells. We also got to see more summons to help you out. The game will allow you to attach one summon materia to each character, which charges up during battle before Ifrit or Shiva appears to eliminate your enemies. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and also check out the rest of our social media content down here and we'll see you next week.